Hey guys, King Jad here, and welcome to another video I wanted to make to try and cover Phil's kind of stupidity and hypocrisy about trying to deal with, with uh, the low tier god kind of drama he has manufactured all by himself. Something really got to me when he started his podcast on uh, Monday. So F Phil ran his mouth on the Sunday on his podcast about LTG. Phil claims they are trying to talk shit about him, he was somewhat neutral. A lot of neutrals perceived it as Phil taking like low, sh low blow jabs at them, kind of, you know, like. Little, you know, humble brags about Phil being better at the game and I'm surprised that LTG is not master at a higher level if he's been playing the game non stop. So, there's a whole lot of things for LTG to take issue with from what Phil said. But, um, on the Monday when LTG already responded, Phil introduced his podcast to his audience like this. After my having a very short segment yesterday about him, apparently LTG has done a lengthy response to a Right there, there's something very wrong with that comment. LTG's response pretty much lasted 10 minutes, okay? And Phil trying to say he had a, a, a very brief segment on it, Phil lasted about half an hour. So, I mean, I, you actually see here, the video that Phil responded to was actually this one here. And the video was created by Eddie Jones 19 on YouTube. He de-streamed it, I guess. Or either he de-streamed it or he clipped the restream himself, who knows. But either way though, Phil used this video to re react to LTG 10 minute long video. We can actually check the timestamps here. Phil starts talking about LTG the day, you know, earlier that day on a Sunday podcast from Sunday to July 23rd. You know, happy anniversary and all that to the incident. <laughs> not as, for, 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 you know, WWE Champions Day, not shit, you know. But yeah, Phil started talking about it at 47 minutes into his podcast, okay? This is where he starts, okay? Take a hand, all right? Last night, I'm relaxing. You know how fucking long Phil takes if I can get to the goddamn point. We can scroll down on here the transcript and see how long does he spend talking about this actual thing. Remember, Phil said he spent a very brief time discussing this very topic. At the 47 minute mark he started and he's still talking about it basically almost half an hour later. Here he is here, another, another 14 into his podcast. Getting 2,000 views a stream. I had no clue. I had no clue he was that popular in the fighting game. Still talking about him almost half an hour later. It is incredible, okay? Almost half an hour later, Phil Burnell was still talking about him, okay? And he only ended about the hour 15, hour 15 mark here. interested in seeing and, and go from there, all right? But anyway, I'm just saying, this is something that happened randomly last night, and it fast, absolutely fascinated me. I was like, wow, interesting, okay? So that's like 20. Look at Phil. It's not 30 minutes. It's 28 minutes. Okay, Phil. Fair. Actually, it's more like 29 if we're going to be actually fucking pedantic about it and be accurate, Phil spent 29 goddamn minutes going off on the LTG video from there, right? So Phil to introduce his own show by trying to lie to his audience and say this, this kind of crap here. We'll talk a little bit about that. Then, after my having a very short segment yesterday... Very short segment, Mars. 29 minutes you fucking spent telling your audience about the fucking thing you did. ...about him, apparently LTG has done a lengthy response... A lengthy response, barely 10 minutes. Barely 10 fucking minutes, Phil. It's, it's, it's absolutely garbage you're fucking trying to lie to your audience, try to fucking pretend you only spent a fucking brief amount of time discussing LTG, and, and he, you're trying to fucking insinuate as well he spent a lengthy response. You just talked about him longer than he talked about your ass. He also said to you, keep my name out your mouth. And yet you fucking didn't, the very next day, you know, you couldn't fucking help yourself, and you just fucking went straight back to the well and talked about him on this very fucking podcast uh, here later on. And Jesus fucking Christ, though, it's just, it's, to me, that rubbed me the wrong way. It's just for Phil to blatantly lie to his audience and anyone else is buffering to listen about that. And then Phil proceeded to spend God knows how long. Like, he, he started to react. DSP ch gaming, gaming channel. And he turned his podcast into a react segment, bizarrely. Just for the sheer clout and bait and drama views and all that shit. So Phil starts this crap at, what, 26 minutes, 27 minutes in. Yeah, run, run over this side, run, run over here. Introduce you. We'll just say 27 minutes into it, okay? 27 minutes into it. We want our 27. He's still on it. And he's still got a minute to go to react to. Phil spent a whole hour reacting to a 10 minute clip of low tier God. Basically just running his mouth, fucking trash talking him and all that shit, you know what I mean? It's, it's one of those fucking things where it's like, Phil intentionally manufactured this drama himself. What did Phil gain from doing this? He tried to claim it and fucking gain much from trying to get clout or whatever. Phil got over a hundred dollars in tips that day, in that day stream. Phil got over a hundred dollars in super chats that day. He had a boost in fucking members as well. He had from new, brand new super chats from new people and his audience as well. 
they got flagged off whatever. He even he even had the creator of his video apparently. I'm not sure if it was actually true or not. The creator of his video apparently turned up and gave him a super chat. This is one of those things though. Phil was absolutely trying his best to fucking chase some extra fucking clout and try and get some drama manufactured by himself and he's trying to insinuate as well the tractors and trolls and haters are fucking getting involved. Phil was basically pleading with him to fucking send, in, send your fucking clips to him or whatever because Phil was hoping for some sort of fucking clap back from LTG so he had something to talk about on his fucking boring ass podcast because he is not doing that well for financial support as of this month so far. The tips are down by a long way. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube as well, YouTube site support as well for him has actually been down as well. So Phil is desperately trying to fucking manufacture some fake beef or whatever to try and get some clout, to try and get some extra eyes and get some extra attention. It is quite obvious what he's fucking doing. Even LTG kind of soft route and says I don't, want, I don't want anything to do with you. Bill Burrell's trying to fucking actually challenge LTG to a certain Street Fighter and LTG said okay, if you want my time, pay me money. And Phil has now told other people to fucking pay LTG money for him so he can have a Street Fighter because Phil's not going to pay. For God, God no. So yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those things Phil can try and fucking claim oh the guy's fucking ducking me. He said if you want his fucking time, if you're really desperate for his fucking time that much, pay up and he'll fucking do it. He'll play. So... And Phil, so Phil's going to try to pretend the ball's in LTG's court. LTG doesn't care. He just fucking wants to do his own goddamn thing. You're the one that's fucking going after him and chasing this fucking clout. Obviously. Because he's doing better on YouTube. I say, I say better on YouTube. Twitch. LTG's doing better on Twitch. He's got like 2,000 odd viewers and all that shit. You know what I mean? He's got a whole bunch of members as well. Phil kept saying he's probably making about 700 grand a month from members alone. Randomly, you know what I mean? So Phil's obsessed with it. Once again, it all comes back to fucking money. You know, inevitably. With Phil Bonnell, it always boils down to fucking money. There you fucking go. This is not me trying to fucking defend LTG, by the way. These guys are both fucking milkers. These guys are both fucking arseholes. You know what I mean? It's just kind of funny seeing one try to eat the other to get some extra fucking clout because one, you know, the, the fucking channel's not doing very well right now. But LTG recognises that as well, to be fair, and he's like, yeah, fuck off. Not interested. Just, you know, get on real and shit. Just worry about yourself, essentially. So, there you go. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap things up there. You know what I mean? Just for a point, I just want to point out that main hypocrisy that Phil had at his start of his podcast, trying to insinuate that LTG had a lengthy rant, whereas Phil only had a brief segment. Bullshit. It's the other way around. LTG barely spent 10 minutes on it, if that. And it's one of those things where he probably spent fucking 10 minutes too long on it, in my opinion. And Phil was the one that not only had like an almost, almost 30 minute segment to begin with at the start, but then he spent well over an hour. Discussing the response. Who is the person that's fucking taking way too much of the fucking time talking about the other? Phil, it is you. LTG didn't even bother his to fucking check on what you've been doing lately. He still thinks the last his last memory of you is you having your older webcam, your older fucking setup where you had fucking stuffed toys in the background. He has not paid attention to your ass. He is not you're not worth paying attention to in his eyes. That's a simple trip of the fucking matter. So yeah. Hopefully, if LTG in any sense, he won't respond to Phil, he'll just fucking ignore his ass, and Phil will try someone else to fucking bait for some extra fucking drama and attention. I'll try and see what happens, I guess. This has been King Jack. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.